Welcome to Neville TV with the BenQ W1080 ST Beamer which I already showed you in a short little hands-on and now we have here the box itself so we can try it out um, this um, for world's first show throw short throw full HD beamer um, that BenQ has developed and we also have here 3D glasses uh, for it which are not inside the box you have to buy them separately um, but they cost about 80 bucks active um, nice little shutter 3D um, lenses for DL peeling 3D ready projectors um, so that's one thing that we will try of course out also and as you can see here on the box it says it again W1080 ST there's also 720p version which is a little bit brighter but this has also I think over 2000 NC lumen uh, so just check out actually my hands-on video I'm describing the um, the technical details they're a little bit better here we will take a look at what you get inside the box and then later also um, how it feels um, to watch a movie with this little short throw beamer that means actually that you can go as close as a one and a half meter so about um, let me count about five foot um, to the screen and you can get up to a two meter or even bigger um, screen um, which is again let me count about eight feet or nine feet um, diagonal um, with the screen so on the box there's not much to see except for the beamer everything is black and on the other side we have the same thing again so let's just take a look what's inside and then um, I will show you a little bit around um, later in the next video of course how it feels to watch a movie with the beamer where you can actually walk behind the beamer and still see everything nicely and you can of course even use this perfectly for gaming because even in bright daylight what like we would have it right now for example the sun is going down maybe right now but uh, still the, the um, light the light bulb is so strong that you can see still everything inside um, later so we have here first of all a power cable this is the regular power cable you know already from your pc nothing special there and the next thing we have here is right away the beamer in a nice little bag actually the price is about a thousand bucks um, plus taxes of course in the US in the UK about I think eight to nine hundred pounds in Germany it's uh, 1100 or 1200 euros I'm not sure right now but the prices are of course varying you can see beautiful little BenQ case where on the back for example we have here the possibility to just put it on our other um, um, carry-on so this is quite nice and you have even some holders here for the straps which are of course here inside on the front when I'm just opening it up you will see that we have uh, that here inside for example these little straps so you can um, put it around your um, yeah um, shoulder so let me just leave that out then the next thing here in German 10 points you shouldn't do with your beamer and for example that means you should read the manual first you should not look inside the lens directly for a long time if you just look at it for a glimpse of a second you nothing will happen but for a long time you should of course not do anything you should open the cap um, don't put a book or anything um, really close to the lens because the device is of course getting warm you should not drop it you should not open it you shouldn't you shouldn't you shouldn't of course the things that nobody would do you should just leave it on the table or on the um, um, roof and then just watch your movie so we have a VGA cable of course with it so you can connect your PC directly right away and then we have here the manual for the digital projector the quick starter guide in a lot of languages so that means there is not much content inside since it's really slim but what's more important is that we have for example here two AAA batteries inside and this case for our little um, uh, remote let me just get the remote out here refocus the camera and then we can take a close look at that you can see there's a lot of buttons here we can set the 3d volume and everything since there's of course also speakers inside and this is also of course made in china but the importer is in the from the netherlands and there's also this green smart echo button so you can your uh, use your beamer for a long time and you don't have to worry about the lens when you will use it let me put this to the side and um, there's nothing else here in the front but we have to open up the case of course all the way here also you can see it goes all the way down here and even down here and you don't have to worry that the beamer is falling out since there's actually straps 
that could hold it here together. I opened it already up before, but when that's closed, you can see it won't fall out. And on the sides here, there's also here nice little straps, um, Velcro straps that will hold the beamer in spot so nothing can fall out and nothing is wobbling. So there's three little Velcros right here, as you can see that are helping. Otherwise, you can just take out the beamer and then you can see this would be the bag that you have seen before um, for your travels. Let me take it out of this nice little case. And then we have already here this nice, not the smallest beamer in the world, but the, really the world's first full HD short throw beamer um, with the nice little spherical lens, uh, infrared of course for your um, remote. Um, here is the um, uh, one of the fans that are inside. We have the DLP technology by Texas Instruments. Um, on this side there is of course also another fan here on the back. And on the back, complete back of the device, we have a lot of ports that I can show you right now. We have two HDMI's, 12 volt VGA, uh, 12 volt trigger, uh, component ports, uh, red, blue and green, uh, a mini USB, I'm not sure what, what that is for actually. We have the PC, which is the VGA um, port and even um, serial, which is the RS-232. Um, that's of course nice for older devices and you can also program, I guess, the Beamer. We have the S-Video here, um, video, um, audio in, and audio out with two ports each um, AC in so of course power is needed and Kensington also still necessary in a lot of businesses on the bottom you can see we have on the back actually um, one leg that you can do this with on the other side it's actually not twistable which is a little bit strange um, but I guess this is for really just adjusting the table if it would not fit perfectly. But actually on the front, this is the more important one you have here, this button where you can press push and then here the leg um, comes out and you could really actually just hold it in and then um, set here manually really all the millimeters you want and then just leave it and then you have it again here fixed um, and you have really um, a lot of settings here that you can actually set it up with. So otherwise, um, on the other side, I haven't show you uh, this side, we have here the speaker, which is quite big and also another lens. And on the top, also quite important, we have here a zoom, but you can see that the lens just came out a little bit. So I can just go back here and then you can see I can set it up quite nicely for zooming about one centimeter, which is of course not one centimeter in really a real world, but I would set that up and to focus here. Um, so of course that is, that is twisting here the front um, to set up the focus quite nicely. And I can take of course off this lens cap. And if I go here out with the zoom, you can really see it nicely here um, with the spherical lens that this is the main reason we have here the short throw. Um, um, technology but of course I will show you everything in detail how close we can go to our um, beamer setup inside which is actually a 10 year old beamer that we have inside by Optoma which this one will um, of course um, um, this will be the new alternative. So we have here the power button, temperature and lamp and all kinds of other buttons that you can see in the picture. Uh, on and off switch, echo blank, source so you don't even need your remote if you want to use the Beamer and especially you can just plug in externally some gaming device and do also 3D gaming with these BenQ 3D glasses for example. As I said they are not inside the box but you can buy them for about 80 bucks separately. Let me just open it up where you have also a little manual, a little pouch. And with the pouch you have also here a little uh, cleaning cloth so you can clean the lenses uh, quite nicely. We have a USB cable which is only on one side, the regular USB and the short side or the side that would go inside the beamer, uh, the, the, um, the glasses is a little bit different. It looks like micro USB but it isn't. Uh, which is sad so you should not lose these uh, this USB cable and then we have of course the glasses themselves as I said they are active glasses which means that of course um, you have to power them up with the battery right here um, you can just open up 
this little port on the bottom and then you need a USB cable I was showing you before, plug it in and in five minutes you can charge it for about two hours so you can just really watch a movie by charging at five minutes. That's actually quite nice. Otherwise the battery should last about 50 hours which is also really great and I'm not sure uh, after how, how many months the battery will just empty by itself but actually it shouldn't since it's of course quite good batteries usually inside the left and the right side here that's why both sides are a little bit um, bigger here in the middle and there's also here the button to press uh, which uh, turns the glasses on and off and then it will uh, be here red or blue when it's of course connected to the beamer which it does actually by looking at the screen here via infrared it will get the right signal here right through the middle um, and maybe you know this kind of technology because the th uh, first 3d movie theaters were using this one and not the um, passive one that we uh, know for example from lg tvs um, but it's a little bit harder to do passive 3d with beamers or it just takes a few more years maybe then we will have also the cheaper glasses there till then you have to buy these for about 80 bucks so this was the um, short little hands-on and unboxing of the brand new BenQ W1080 ST um, 3D short throw beamer uh, and unboxing of course uh, full test of course coming up also soon here in video form and we will check out the display quality and how really close you can get for a big picture here with this beamer till next time peace and then again don't forget to subscribe my name is Balazs Gal and thank you much for watching